smell of chocolate in the air, we are now entering the grounds of the Elegance at Hershey for 2015. This is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com. This gives you an idea of what you're coming into. The setting is magnificent. The cars are spectacular. You will learn things here of cars you've never known. You will learn things about cars which you already know about. You will see special one-offs. You will see very unique makes. You will see very uh, exquisite versions of the particular cars uh, which you've only read about or even at times not read about. This is early morning so we're still in setup mode. We have a host of Duesenbergs this year. Delahaye. That's a Packard. That is one of uh, the concept cars. There's that script booth. They're still parking cars. It's still quite busy. We're still wiping down. Don't talk to yourself into taking pictures, man. Oh, come on. Of course. I'm the only one who listens. If you're coming to this event, make sure you get here early. You're going to see a lot of really well worth. Look at that Duesenberg. That's a 1934 Duesenberg. The height of the Depression. There it is. Price for one-off Imperial. Cars of all sizes. Good morning! A brown lecker. Okay. As I said, you're going to learn about cars which you've never known before. Now, the Brown Lecker, that was actually sold as a um, functional... Sold as a child's car. Oh, child's car, okay. But I do have some registration records that show that they were actually legally licensed for the road. Wow. Because yeah. I look at this and I think of the uh, later uh, Buckboard. Right. Not a, not a big seller. They only produced them for one year. Uh-huh. They were rather expensive for what they were. Oh, I'm sure. Where were they built? Built in York, New York. Oh, really? And they were built from the middle of the year, uh, Good morning. I'm sorry, what year? They started in the middle of 1908. Yes. Ceased production about the middle of 1909. Wow. So just just <laughs> about one full year. Well, they couldn't fit them in the elevators to get them down from the apartment. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is cool. Thank you so very much for bringing it. And by the way, I love the ensemble. Very nice. Oh yes, we are not properly gowned now. <laughs> we forgot our white gloves. Mm. Imperial limousine. Oh my God. Very few of these were built. These were actually, well, quasi-factory built. They were sanctioned by the factory. What's interesting is not just early cars. You can see it's still quite active here. We saw the Ferraris coming up. See the racing Corvettes. Now again, this stuff has heritage. There's a reason why it's here. It's a smaller show than a lot of your Elegance, so they concentrate more stuff into it, which is really pretty cool. The AACA and all of its volunteers and all, all of its hard workers really put together an ensemble which is Bye. remarkable. Am I ready for my close up? Are that Packard's labeled Mitch? Uh, oh, no problems. It's a Panther. We're going to check this stuff in detail a little bit later. This is just a quick walk through early morning. So I want to give you a scope of what it feels like. It's about 8.30 in the morning. This is Sunday morning. 
on the grounds of the Hershey Hotel. Look at that Chrysler. Oh my gosh. It's interesting with the uh, header panel. Looks like it's removable. Of course, the divider window goes down. That's the C15 LeBaron Imperial. That is a highly unusual Packard. That's a 34. That's an 1108. I'm sorry, that's LeBaron. It's not a Francini, by the way. Hispano Suesa. I, I will get it right yet. Sorry about that. 34 Espino Suesa, K6 Cabaret. And the body is by Fernandez de Darren. Oh, tucked under the tree is that gorgeous little Lombo. This one we don't have. This is the custom bodied Packard out of Sweden. Roba is the builder. Detroit Electric. Now look at this contrast here. From the Detroit Electric. It's a 23. I am not even going to guess. This is why I come to this event. This is a 69. Farago CF428 Coupe. Interesting, by Carrozia uh, Cagliola. Boy, do I butcher Italian or what? Obviously, one of the uh, GT Coupes, uh, Pontiac powered, um, yeah, Pontiac based. This was during the fads of the 60s when everything was going grand touring. Uh, the Jensen Interceptor, of course, was one of the big ones. Look at those alloys. Uh, if you notice the wraparound that looks like it's straight out of the Grand Prix. And then along the same lines earlier, of course, we've got the dual gear. Dual gear, this is a 58, was based off the show cars. And of course, powered yeah. by the Chrysler. Yeah, your car is absolutely fabulous. Thank you. That's a 37 Studebaker. Now notice the bulletproof windows. Everything, absolutely everything is interesting here. This is Armstrong Sedetli. When was the last time you've seen an Armstrong? This is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com doing a walkabout early morning on the field of the 2015 Elegance at Hershey. There's just too much to see in one video. You're going to see a lot more and you're going to see a lot more detail. Make sure you mark this on your calendar for next year. We've got Packard and Pierce Arrow, and we're going to leave you with a money shot of the Bugatti. Check NortheastWheelsEvents.com for more photos, videos of the Elegance, as well as dates for next year.